good. <laughs> good. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and to this episode of Thirsty Thursday. Been a minute. Yeah, we haven't done one of these in a while. Oh, we haven't done one of these in a while. I don't know if they even want to see them, but <laughs> not, we're going to do one. Not my fault, but. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking for 16 days. Where are you been? 17 days. 17 days. So today we are uh, doing ah, something we scraped out of the fridge. Big Cat Golden Pilsner from Urban Chestnut Brewing Company in St. Louis, Missouri. And I don't remember where we got this from. If this was a uh, this untapped or it was been gifted to us, I don't know. Um, so, and this is from just, I guess like last year they were doing a fundraiser with the St. Louis Zoo, yeah. um, which is cool. Getting involved in the community, community supporting community. Yep, yep. Um, cool brewery. They're into old style brews. Uh, this is again, a Pilsner. But they're into doing like classic, like German style beers. They use a lot of Hellertal hops. I saw, um, so they call it like classic brewing with modern equipment as their spin. Um, Interesting. They got a good menu. They had some schnitzel, some brats. Oh yeah, food. On their food we don't menu. know what that is here yeah, in Jersey. Yeah, outside of Jersey. What is food at a brewery? But it's a pilsner, so let's get into it. All right. Oh snap. Is that like somebody peeing? This is 4.8% beer. It looks like champagne, so drink up, buddy. Trug a lug. Pilsner. Should be light, clean. Didn't find out a lot about Certainly this Certainly light. Cool can. Got a little... Uh, it is a cool can. Got a little... What is that? A leopard on there? It looks like a leopard. Or cheetah. Is that a cheetah? Or a leopard? I would say leopard, but I'm not, I don't know. A, I'm not a zoologist. Uh, picture, so, picture of leopard. It's a picture of a big cat. Picture of cheetah. Big cat. <laughs> big cat. All right, big cat. Golden Pilsner, Urban Chestnut Brewing Company. Let's check it out. It smells like a German beer. It does smell like a German beer. It smells good. Mm. It smells like a typical uh, Pilsner. Or Light, flavorful though. It is light, but it's got a little bit of character there. It is. You know, it's uh first impression. Don't hate it. I like it. Very light. I mean, not uh, typical yeah. to what I would drink, but it's yeah. But you've been off the double IPAs now for for a minute. And listen, my my tastes have really like taken a, mm -hmm. a shock, a culture shock from not drinking for a while. And yeah. I've actually come back and drank a few of my typical go-to beers, and I'm like, hmm, this is different. Like, mm -hmm. very different. So I got a fairly clean palate. This is nice. A little lemony. Very, yes, it is lemony. A little lemony. I feel like I say this with most, pil I can't talk, most Pilsners, but mm -hmm. um, very, like, Refreshing on a hot summer day, kind of. Oh yeah, taste this to is it. Uh, and, you know, and lawnmower like, beers, as you like to call them. Mm -hmm. Like very. I mean, this was only four point eight percent, right? ABV, so certainly can put somebody. I mean, this is stronger than most Budweisers, but still. But again, and I think this is the whole point of craft beer. I think people don't understand. They're like, oh, I don't like craft beer. You know, I drink Bud or whatever. If you're a Bud drinker or you're a Miller Light drinker, you're totally gonna like this beer. This yeah, is, it's like a good version of what you're drinking already. I mean, just because it's craft beer doesn't mean it's some crazy bitter IPA. No. It's sometimes it's just right. It's just a more classic or better version of what you're drinking, and a lot of times a fresher version of what you're drinking. Even though Bud think, does have a born IPA. I think a lot of the brewers and breweries, you know, put out these IPAs and stuff because that's become popular. But I think deep down, almost all of them want to put out beers like this, more classic, old world, old school style. Pilsners and lagers. I think yes, IPAs are popular, and I feel like you have to have like a good IPA if you're if you're a brewery, mm -hmm. um, because cr the craft beer community will definitely judge you on that. But I think it's harder to make a good pilsner than it is to make an IPA that people will yeah, like. That's pretty normal, right. popular opinion. I think yeah. you know, from it, what it, you hear, it's, it's, the IPA is yeah. kind of like the junk beer. 
not, not nearly as hard to make. Well, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say it's junk beer, but I feel like <laughs> junk beer in, on as much as in the average, process. it's not as skillful. Right. You know, on, on average, and I mean, maybe yeah. somebody will see this and completely roast me on that, but it's my yeah, opinion, and whatever. quite frankly, I'm entitled to it. And he's editing the video, so it'll be in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, definitely lemony. Yeah. Definitely light. This would be good with like uh, I'm thinking, and you know I'm like I'm like carb craving because I've been like low on carbs lately. Mm. But this would be good with I don't like know what carbs are I some those some out. pasta with some garlic and olive oil. This is my carbs. This is my carbs. <laughs> you know, or or some like like some some grilled chicken. This would be good with some grilled chicken. Mm. Something like that would be grilled mm. chicken with a little lemon mm -hmm. zest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh. Not a huge Pilsner fan, but this is pretty good. Yeah, I, I like Pilsners, and I like a good Pilsner, and I like a Pilsner. It's got like I like a good Pilsner. Yeah, I, I mean that's that's there's the not thing. A lot of, there, you know, there's you know, a lot that aren't that's great. that are kind of meh. Kind of but I like the lemons in, in this, and and that this is um, probably from the hops that are in here. I mean, it's it's got a classic like smell though. Oh, like, it does. I, do, I mean, even though I'm not just, like a huge Pilsner drinker and just, rarely going to like. The smell you get is like, it you know makes what? you think of beer. You know what I love about Pilsner is, it smells like beer should smell to me. Like that is how, you know, it, it reminds me, of, when I smell a beer like this, it, it reminds me of like walking into that bar with my grandfather. You know how old bars used to smell? Like they used to smell kind of like yeah. cheap beer and cigarettes, right? Yeah. But this kind of has that beer smell that like. It does for me too. And I think <sighs> I, it, it takes me back to being mm -hmm. a kid for the couple years I lived yeah. in Germany in that short period of a couple of years is like the only real period of time in which my father drank beer. Yeah. And so we did in, in the military, he was, you know, we were, he was stationed over there and we did like, I did an actual Oktoberfest over there and mm -hmm. being around like him drinking the beer. Like it just, it smells very familiar. Just, just smelling from it. that. It reminds yeah. me of that. So that's a very authentic, you know, German beer kind of thing. Yeah. I'm into it. It's good. Mm. I mean, three, seven, five. Yeah, I'm good with that. Three seven five. I'm good with three seven five. Three five three seven five. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, what it, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what it would take to get me to a Pilsner to, to be a four. Honestly, I, I don't know. But three seven five one three seven five is a high question. score. But it's. Um, I think it's a, it's a really solid score. Yeah. Yeah. I know people get a little carried I'm away. Gonna, We've talked I'm, about this before. I'm but. gonna have to sip a beer and be like, and just be like wild by it for me to give it a four. Really. Pilsner. Yeah, especially a Pilsner. Like, I'm really going to have to be like, wow, it's the best Pilsner I've ever had. And this is a very, very good Pilsner. Fours. Huh? You've given, I've given fours. fours. We've given fours, but not, not, no, I don't think we've ever done a Pilsner. Mm. Yeah. Where's Solid. That? Nothing left, so. Listen, he drank, he actually split this with me. <laughs> so that tells you how much he likes it. That's, that's, that's actually huge, uh, huge uh, props to that beer that we kind of split this evenly. Urban Chestnut Brewing. I like the name. I like the beer. Um, if you're in St. Louis. If you're in St. Louis, I like the menu. And I would love to get to St. Louis, man. I, I just, we, we drove through there. We rode through there. We saw like the arch at sunrise. It was really, really amazing. Um, I remember the traffic was a little sketch, but it was, uh, you know, I, I would really like, to, that's a city I would really like to get to and, and enjoy a little bit. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and not to condone, you know, drinking and driving, but at 4.8%, you definitely could have one or two and, mm -hmm. you know, you know I'm just continue saying. on your merry way. So, yeah, Big Cat Golden Pilsner Urban Chestnut gets a 3.75 from both of us. Check it on out. On the old untapped scoring scale. Solid beer. I like yeah. it. Good stuff. And it's nice to be doing one of these. Again. have done one of these in a while, so good stuff. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If... uh if you like these beer reviews, please leave a comment because we never can tell. It kind of seems like you guys don't really like these, but we like doing them, so we still do them. <laughs> kind of like it's our channel, so you know. But if you like them, leave a comment. Tell us what you think of Pilsners and uh, give us a thumbs up if you're not subscribed. You should be. Do it. It's free. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. Catch you in the next one. All right, later.